Welcome everybody to the new update version 0.50 uh, A bunch of updates here First off, if you notice I've uh, Im changed how the guides here on the bottom right look like Some people were complaining that you know in some low resolution monitors They can't actually see what the skis are Hopefully now you can actually see it much clearer now And so that's one improvement Obviously you, uh, if you remember you can hide it by hitting tab And you can hide that uh, menu there's some requests from a few people asking to uh, be able to click uh, objects from the prop menu. So if you hit one or two or three, which you select the categories, uh, you traditionally can just type the numbers here or you hit Q and E. Now you can actually use your mouse to select. So you can actually click on Q and E here using a mouse or you can even click on this. Let's say for instance here hitting three, you can just use your mouse to click on that and then you have your object. Um, so that has been added as well. So hopefully you guys like that. The next enhancement is how you select uh, object. So because of the way the system is built where if you drop an object on, let's say if you drop a wall on the ground, and if I click anywhere in the wall to pick it up, it basically moves the object to where your radical, your, the cross basically is pointing at. And that basically made the object jump to that location, which is really jarring and unnerving to uh, people who are using this tool. So now I've changed how that works here. And now if you, uh, now what happens is when you click on it, it basically moves you to the origin point on the wall. So the wall doesn't move, just you move to the wall. So now you can actually move it. And so if you basically have many, many objects here like this, right and then if you want to move this wall instead of it jump far away you can now wherever you click on this wall it will retain its position so now you can you know calibrate it correctly so that will help with stage design a lot much a lot more actually so like that you can you know just adjust according so i think that will help with uh, stage design a lot better uh, than before uh, the next thing, I uh, have three new props uh, first off is the bullet trap so the last update i had the bullet trap tall and the bullet trap angle. Somebody suggested that uh, in their region, they actually use a single bullet trap for one target. So I made one right now. So you can click on that. And now you can have a bullet trap, which is pretty straightforward. You only hold one target like that. And then I have two new, actually one new prop, but with, uh, it's basically a sled or rail. So if you go over to USPSA, Go all the way to the end you see now you have usb let's say sled or the double sled so a single sled basically has one target on this and you can just be maybe if you drop in a popper and if you set the activation and you connect it now if you go to simulation mode if you if you shoot at it you have one target moving now right so now you have the single sled you have the double sled with two targets so for both USB-SA and if you go over to IPSC, go all the way to the end, you see the IPSC single slot and IPSC double slot. There you go. So now you can activation mode, connect all of it like that. And if you go over to simulation mode, you just shoot it and everything starts to move. I'm not doing very well, but there we go. So. There you go, so a few new props here. Um, the sled prop, which is pretty cool. Thanks to Bobby for suggesting and showing me the design. And if you have any new prop suggestions, please send it to me. You can go over to the feedback, go escape, hit feedback, and provide th feedback here, and provide any improvements, suggestions, bugs that you found. Uh, send it over to me so that I can fix it and get it included in the tool. So hope you all enjoy the new update and see you on the range.